The birds that feast on meat circle above everyone. And I still don't exactly know what that means. Folks, buzzards are a little weird in how they work, all the while being very straightforward as their drops and mechanics go, making them an interesting topic in my opinion. So this will be quick. However, it still might shed some light on these Death Eaters for ya. So let's get to it. And first things first, where do these birds call home? Well, the deserts of course, and I think we probably saw that one coming. We can find these guys flying overhead within the Dragonfly Desert here, or the Oasis ones, with their numbers varying of course. Now speaking of, their map markers indicate their exact spawn, even though they cover a wider territory around them cause they freaking fly. But think of these markers not as limiters either as sometimes there are more buzzards than markers. Oh, and also don't forget to discount the Rocky Lands biome as well, as more buzzard spawns could be flapping about there too. But let's get to some nitty gritty, so that's pretty much all these guys have. Buzzards love meat over anything, and any place near their shadows will call them down pretty much instantly. Thing is though, buzzards will also be attracted by seeds all the same as other birds, but only if no other meat is around, really. But that's not all even still. They will also hop on over to piles of rot as well and could eventually eat themselves to death in some cases. And lastly, one of the only other ways to get buzzards to fly on down to the ground consistently is with live rabbits, everyone. Yup, it's a thing. And buzzards hate them, probably because they can't bloody catch them. It's an interesting mechanic that doesn't really mean much of anything, but hey, it's unique behavior, so it's worth noting. As is this, their undying need to defend their meals, even if it means they literally die while doing so. Buzzards are technically neutral mobs, and are extremely skittish like most other rats with wings, but do not mess with their food. They don't like that. Heck, they don't even like their own kind doing that. So a lot of the times, you might not have to do diddly squat, folks. But let's say we do approach their dinner. What happens then? Well, a buzzard will squawk, and if we are still close enough afterwards, they will go in for a peckin'. Now, buzzards are very easy to kite. Add two hits, dodge, and repeat. So I really do not foresee much issue there especially with how low their health pools are, but also due to the fact that they absolutely refuse to pursue anything if it's off their meal. They just truly will not leave its side, even if they're getting murdered. Heck, they'll even go right back to munching if you really leave them be after a few swings. Again, buzzards are just kind of strange. They're otherwise super skittish to the point where it is literally impossible to kill them when they're not eating. You get too close to them, they'll fly away like other birds. You attempt to kill them, and they'll just fly up into the air for a bit, and then return like nothing has ever happened. But, speaking of, do me a favor. Watch their shadows during this segment. We've got five on screen, and I've got five meat. So in the process of laying it down, we see said shadows fade as buzzards land, and there are five buzzards for five shadows. The shadows match up, even if the markers don't, but sometimes buzzards spawn without either. So again, to be honest, I really don't know how they work at the end of the day. I can tell you though, that they respawn in about two to three days and spawn in every season. So there you go. And I normally don't throw these things in, but if you're playing solo don't starve, it's even faster. But why should we care either way? Well. I suppose you don't have to, but buzzards could be a great way to quote unquote farm drumsticks while you're waiting for your gobbler farms to be ready. So why care about drumsticks? Well, mostly for turkey dinners here, and their 75 hunger, 20 health, and 5 sanity regens per munch with a very easy craft. You've seen how easy buzzards are to handle, so who knows, sometimes paying them a visit could prove useful. Well, sometimes at least. Cause while drumsticks are guaranteed, these next two drops are not. Starting with jet feathers here. 
Buzzards have a 33% chance to provide us with one, and we can use them for feather pencils, for either mapping or marking chests, saddle horns to preserve saddle durabilities, feather hats for even more bird spawns, sleep darts, and even sea fishing lures. Go get them. And lastly, morsels. Yet another drop of a buzzard with a 33% chance of occurring. It's meat, folks. Small meat, but it's meat nonetheless. So cook it, dry it, use it in the crockpot for better meat dishes, attract more buzzards with it, etc. I don't think you need me to cover this. But there you have it, everyone. Actual coverage on buzzards within Don't Starve Together. Not the most exciting, or perhaps enlightening, however worth it even for a few tidbits here and there. Besides, we can't actually cover everything in this game without covering them, right? So don't be a buzzkill, you quote-unquote out-of-content people. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, watch your meat. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.